I got into kayaking when I was pretty young. I guess I started kayaking when I started playing in the river, uh, the Rio Grande and the Cimarron River. At some point I bought a little one-man rubber ducky from a hardware store, a little inflatable, and uh, that kind of revolutionized my whitewater experience. My name is Eduardo Perez and I live in Española. I'm 14 right now. Growing up here living just right across the park where I live was all nothing but Sureños live there, so that's all gang territory right there. So it's what I grew up with and I really recognize them as my family, so that's really how I became a gang member there. And pretty much stuck with me, so. Kayaking was something that I felt like that I was very good at it and I could see myself doing something that other people weren't doing and I really wanted to push that and explore that line. And uh, so at a time when boats were big and people's attitudes in my community were different on kayaking, then I feel like I wanted to shatter that, you know, and change people's expectations. And so I just started pushing the, these rivers around here. Any river that somebody would say, oh yeah, you definitely don't want to go into the Imbuto, you know, blah, 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 blah. Then that just piqued my interest to go in there. Alexandria Falls is um, a, a straight vertical falls. The Canadian Cyclopedia says it's 105 and a half feet, and I think when we were there, Jed Selby measured it, and he said it was 114 feet. But a waterfall is very relative to where you're measuring it, how high the water is. So, you know, but it was high, and uh, we weren't there to set a record that day. We knew that. Uh, I was running a very large waterfall, possibly a large waterfall run. I felt like I was all of a sudden had this purpose, that it was a point to communicate to people about overcoming fear and being present and uh, that I should run this drop. And uh, I had full belief that I was going to survive it. And uh, it was a week of thinking about it, but it was a very spiritual experience, you know, feeling like, and I better do this or I'm going to look back on my life and think that I missed something I was supposed to do. So I remember going into to Tunnel Vision and uh, just looking at that feature, getting in my boat, not thinking about anything else except for that, that first little wave hole feature. I remember getting through it and then lining myself up and then uh, a slow tucking forward because I didn't want to throw myself over and uh, just rolling off this big, beautiful kind of horse tail. And uh, it was a really amazing experience, you know, to see the river below, you know, coming into angle. And when I did it, it was an amazing experience. And when I hit the bottom of the water, it was an incredible blow. And, and I realized that I had survived something um, that it, maybe, you know, I shouldn't have survived. It was, it was uh, pretty amazing. But I also realized that there would be more people running big waterfalls. But that was it for me on that level. As soon as I finished that, the good feeling of that was gone in, in like maybe, maybe a day. You know, and I felt like they needed to go to something else, and I didn't want that something else to be bigger waterfalls. I got introduced to kayaking from him actually, and it was there in the Lucero Center. He brought some kayaks, and we'd get in, and he'd show us how to paddle and how to flip it back over for in case you flipped under. It helped me think of the Rio Grande bigger than actually when you just see a little ditch. It helped me see that it's actually a big river. It lives up to its name and I like how the Rio Grande is. I'm looking forward to finish high school. I'm a freshman right now. 
I'm really looking to go to the army once I graduate high school and then possibly go to college. One big project that we are uh, venturing into is through a drug-free communities grant, which is a federal grant through the Rio Riva County. And part of this project is to build a river walk or a walkway on the Rio Grande that would connect bridge to bridge and open up opportunities for fishing, possibly kayaking, water sports, and it's also a safe haven for the youth and escape from the realities of everyday life and just enjoy nature. I remember when I got out of the Navy and I bought a little house and I lived in this really bad neighborhood and that was my little world and if it wasn't for kayaking that I would have been the king of my little world you know which was not the best little world and I needed to get out of that to even have perspective of, of my life and what was better. I'm really excited now. We finally like crossed the tipping point here at the YMCA in Espanola. We've got a couple girls involved. They're really psyched on doing it. I mean, they have a lot of athletic ability, a lot of balance. Kayaking is just such a positive passion in my life. It's, it's led me in such a great direction. And I see that that needs to happen here in the Espanola Valley for a lot of youth. And so I want to give young people a, a place to come out and act out rite of passage, to come challenge each other in a positive way right here on the river in Mexico. This is a great place to do it. I mean, it's really cool because the first time I did and I did an awesome job. Ben told me I was a natural paddler. It makes me feel really, really proud.